Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away a two five-question readings, so hashtag reading for that. And then I give away three $50 prizes. Um, for the $50 prize, please go ahead and post a positive affirmation with a green heart below. Um, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle buy one, get one free. I have mystery crystal boxes that are 20% off. Pre-recorded video readings are 20% off, and then I also do phone readings and text message readings. Um, my cell phone number is below if you would like to check any of that out, okay? All right, my loves, what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family. My puppies are so happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my loves, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies. What does cancer need to know today? All right, well, someone's pissed off. We've got rage. We've got selfish. What about cancer, please? We've got loyalty and we've got near future. We've got, you know, I'm going to take this cancer and I'm going to tell you why, because I've got two types of third party cards on here. Okay. And I feel that it, it, twice I've seen third, a uh, third party here. So I'm going to take it secret love. And we've got spells. Cancer, if you want my opinion here. There's an energy of one person being loyal and another person being very pissed off about that. Someone here is really in their feelings, Cancer. I believe that, Cancer, if you have an ex that wants to be with you and you are in a relationship or getting into a new relationship this ex is not taking it well, okay? If your person has an ex that wants them back and your person is loyal to you and your connection, their ex is not taking it well. We have someone here that is in their feelings, okay? This is a very selfish, greedy, egotistical person that is used to having their way. This person does not understand the word no, okay? This is somebody that, I, I hate to say it guys, but this is someone that is either sending some very serious negative energy or they could be doing actual magic on you or on this connection, your new connection. And it's all because either you don't want to go back to an ex or you don't want to... Oh, shit, guys, I mean, this could be anybody. You know, it may not even be an ex. This could be a friend or a family member that you don't want in your life. You're staying loyal to something and you're removing something from your life. And wh whatever's being removed is it's bad. Like this is just really, really bad. Career popped out here. Cancer, I think this person isn't doing it themselves. They may be hiring somebody to cause delays in your connection. They want, yes, he ghosted and separation here, Cancer. There is somebody that's trying to come in between you and, and something here. And they're watching, they're waiting, and they're laughing. This is someone that can't wait. They're obsessed with getting revenge. They're obsessed with getting revenge and they're jealous. 
Okay, Cancer, I want to say this. I want to say something here, okay? This may not just be pertaining to love. This could be an energy, Cancer, of you may have been a good and loyal friend to somebody and you decided to pull back your energy. This, there's there's an energy here of somebody decided to get away from a person and this person is not taking it well. In the realms of love and romance, what this would look like is, you know, you not wanting an ex back, your person not wanting an ex back or something like that. And this person flies into a fit of rage, wanting some type of revenge, laughing. There's literally laughter here. You see what I'm saying? Someone's like, oh, I cannot wait to see this shit go down. Like I cannot wait. Someone here is very jealous. Okay. Someone here is very jealous or cancer. Let's just say this is regarding, I don't know, a friend or a family member. It's almost like, oh, really? You're going to push me to the side. I can't wait to see your life fall apart. That's, that's the energy of this individual, this spiteful, nasty rage. I mean, look at how mad this person is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just bad. It's bad. It's just bad, bad, bad. And they're like, I cannot wait for your life to fall apart. I can't wait for your new relationship to fall apart. I can't wait for your business to fall apart. I can't wait for you to lose your job. What this person is doing is either sending, excuse me, they're either sending evil eye, putting a jinx on you or a hex on you, wanting your life to literally fall apart, wanting your relationship to fall apart. Or cancer, if this is on, if you're dating someone and it's on your person side, this is somebody that can, that they're just doing magic on you and your person. It's a very dominating, controlling person that wants to push their way on people, that wants to push their way on people. Like, oh, I'm not getting my way anymore. Perfect. So you have to pay for that now. And they're going to make an attempt to use magic, even if they have to hire someone to do this. They're going to make an attempt to hurt your life in some way, shape, or form because you have pulled your energy back. For some of you, this could even be business related. For some of you, this could be, you know, I don't know, you, maybe you said that you were going to go into business with somebody and you pulled back your energy. Or, you know, it could be regarding work where you were supposed to do something with work with somebody and you pulled back your energy and now they want to see you pay. It's like someone here wants to see you pay for, I don't know, doing what's best for you or, or moving on without them. This is not a good energy. This person's angry. Anything else here? No, can't spirits tell me to go straight to uh straight to the tarot. Spirit, tell me more about cancer. No, okay, sorry, sorry guys. Spirit, tell me more about cancer, please. Tell me more about cancer, please. Yeah, see look, cancer. You're sitting in pre empress energy, nine of pentacles energy. You have something going on here. You have something going on here. You, th this could be an energy. Okay, let's, let's just talk about it. This nine of pentacles energy could be. You removed yourself from a situation and you're on your own and doing well financially. Let's say you didn't go into business with somebody. You're not collaborating with people. You're doing things on your own on a financial standpoint, and you're doing very well. Okay. Um, this could be you disconnecting. The nine of pentacles talks about being independent. So this could be you completely and totally disconnecting from your ex and it's your ex that's angry. This could be the person that you're currently dating, truly setting themselves free from something, you know, from their past and they're, they're, you know, they're single and they're ready to move on. Okay. Page of cups, energy, the death card, 
the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Swords. Cancer, it is quite literally killing this individual. It is quite literally killing this individual to see you move on and be happy or to see your person move on and be happy. Cancer, I think you told someone, listen, it's this wasn't a horrible ending, by the way. Whoever here is in this nasty temperament mood, it's almost like they were told, listen, I'm sorry, it's been fun, no hard feelings, you know, I wish you all the best, but I gotta go, right? The death card is an ending and a new beginning. And I feel like Cancer with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune, this could be, you know, you meet the one, a wedding is taking place, you is something solid, something long-term. If this is business, this is you starting a business that is like going to be just everything that you've been wishing and praying for. It's going to be a miracle. If you meet someone new, if your person is leaving this individual behind and meeting you, they see you as like everything they've been wishing and praying for. It is killing a person here to watch you or your person, your current love interest, be happy. It's literally killing someone here. We've got Taurus energy, Scorpio energy, Virgo energy. Three of Cups and the Tower. Cancer, the Three of Cups could be a public announcement. It's happiness, it's joy, it's celebrating, it's toasting to something. Something big is happening for you here, Cancer. I don't know if this is money. I don't know if this is love. I don't know if this is you buying a new car, buying a house, whatever, okay? But it it just blows someone's whole entire you know, they can't believe that you are successful. They can't believe that you've moved on into an upgraded in love or that you've upgraded in money. They just, how did cancer do this? The chariot and the seven of cups. How did this happen? How did this happen? Cancerian energy. Now, again, Cancer, if you're like, no, I don't think this is anyone on my side. If you're dating someone, it could be someone on your person's side. It could be a baby mama, baby daddy, someone here just simply saying, wait a minute. How is that person doing so well? What the hell just happened here? You know, it's, it's like, how, how did, how, you know, if, if it's you cancer that you're moving to new love or money, someone here is saying like, what the hell just happened? How is that even possible? Cancer, another thing I'm getting here is that someone placed spell work on you and is awaiting your downfall. And they're just kind of sitting there in this energy, just looking at your social media like this, like just waiting for that moment that you're going to fail or drop dead or something. I don't know. You know, uh, they're waiting. Yeah. See what they're patiently waiting for is to hear news that, I don't know, you're in a mental hospital, you've committed suicide, you know, you've lost everything because that was this person's goal. They wanted you to lose money, love everything. That was their goal. See the magician, the high priestess and the ace of swords. For me, that's confirmation of what I'm telling you, that there is a high priestess here, someone that's doing some type of magic and that, you know, they have a goal and and their goal is to take everything from your life until you get to that point of like, I'm, I might as well just kill myself. Like, I don't even know what else to do here. You know, I don't even know what else to do here. Like they, they wanted to see you on your knees, dying, crying, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> I do not see that happening. So that's where, cause we have this shock factor here cancer with the tower and the seven of cups there's a shock factor of oh my gosh are you kidding me like i'm over here waiting for you know cancer to to end up in a mental institution or or lose their home or lose their car or lose whatever instead cancer you're coming out with some news here that you're getting married you've opened a new business you have something popping off here. It's like every time this person clicks on social media, like they, you know, they're trying to see some news about you. You have, you know, something new that is, this is, it's throwing them off because they're like, wait a second, this is not what should be happening. 
this is you know not what should this is not what like i can't even speak that's how flustered this person is or these people are look the nine of pentacles the three of cups and the nine of cups cancer you're overcoming some type of obstacle here You've got nine pentacles and 11 cups, love, money, happiness, joy, prosperity. I mean, you're real. you're, if you're not there right now, cancer, you're about to be really happy about something. Cancer, some of you could be getting a phone call that you've won some type of lawsuit, or some of you could be getting a phone call that uh, you've won an inheritance or some of you could be winning the lottery out of nowhere. I don't know. There's going to be some very unexpected news, possibly cancer, um, that you were not expecting here. The moon, the seven of swords and the sun. You have someone here that was trying to steal your joy and they were not able to do it. Cancer, another thing I'm getting here is that there may have been something that there may have been something that was hidden from you that someone here was trying to take and it's being exposed. For instance, you may have an inheritance or something um, money that was supposed to come to you and now it's finding its way to you and you never even knew about it. Very unexpected news coming in, but I feel like it's going to be positive. Tell me more about this. Uh, I mean, cause this is just, this just talks about very positive, positive news. Could be a Sag involved, an Aries or a Scorpio, possibly. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. And the magician, yeah. And then you have someone else here, a Virgo or a Gemini, possibly, that's waiting for their merit, their their magic to hit. You've got you've got one to three people here that could have potentially hired somebody, and they're waiting for this magic to hit. They're they're waiting for your life to fall apart. And instead, what they're seeing is that you're being incredibly blessed with something here, with this Wheel of Fortune energy. I mean, and I'm talking like this is like being set up for life, you know, with this Hierophant here. This can involve contracts. I don't know. You know, maybe this is in business where you sign a big business deal. I don't know. Maybe you start something online and it takes off. Like on TikTok, you go, uh, what is it that the kids call it now? You go viral, okay? You go viral. You make a TikTok and you go viral. You make a YouTube channel and it goes viral. Maybe you just hit the lotto or maybe there's an inheritance that's due to you. Listen, I don't know, okay? But it's it's just an energy of something really amazing coming towards you. And then, you know, I don't know. We've got Dumb and Dumber over here, you know, looking at your, your social media like, oh, any day now. This magic is going to hit any day now. Cancer is going to be on their knees, begging for money, begging for help, begging for whatever, you know, this was the plan, you know, this, this was the plan, um, but it's just not happening. It's, it's just not happening. You know, that, the, you know, that good old saying from the Bible, no weapon formed against me will prosper. That is the truth. Okay. This magic is not going nowhere. This magic isn't even touching this magic. <laughs> No, not nothing. Yeah, you you are not being phased by this at all. You are not being phased by this at all.
what this person wanted, this person that did magic on you, is they wanted things to get so bad for you, Cancer, that you would grovel and come back to them and reach out to them so that they could shut the door in your face. They wanted to tell you, oh, well, Cancer, you know, you walked away from me. So, hey, you know, maybe you doing bad is your karma. What are you going to do? It's just life, right? You know? But instead, with the star card and the page of swords, when they, you know, when they pop on social media or when they do whatever they do to stalk your life, what they're seeing here is you're shining like a star, okay? People are talking about you. With this Page of Swords energy and this Two of Cups here, this, this could be that they're seeing you in a loving relationship. Or if this has to do with work or social media, you're getting a lot of compliments. You're getting a lot of love. There's a lot of love and compliments coming towards you. The World card and the Three of Pentacles, Cancer. Something here is over for you. Something here is over for you. If you felt anything from this magic, if money has been a little weird, if you've had a run of bad luck, you know, you were not experiencing the full brunt of the magic that was being put on you. The magic that was being put on you, Cancer, if you were anyone else, if you were anyone else, it could have potentially destroyed you. Okay, could have it could have potentially destroyed you. Um, this two of swords falls right on top of the death card and the hierophant. This could be God that was protecting you. It could be uh, a deceased loved one that was protecting you, an ancestor that was protecting you. You know, and and again, the whole goal, the whole goal of this person that was doing this magic was. I want them to, I want everything to fall apart in their life and I want them to come groveling to me on their knees so I could shut the door in there in cancer's face or whatever. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Cancer, something's about to end here for you with this world card. So if you've been feeling the effects of anything, something here is going to change or break. And I feel like you have some very good news coming towards you. Some of you could be traveling for work. If you've been wanting to travel for work or move at a distance or go overseas or something like that, uh, that's definitely going to go through for you. And I feel like what's happening here is I feel like with this queen of pentacles here, this may be the person that they hired to do the magic. Oh, they're going to flip out. <laughs> they're going to flip out. Like cancer was supposed to be devastated. Cancer was supposed to be devastated. Why did I not get what I want? You promised me, you told me that cancer's life would be devastated. And I feel like with the hermit here, I, th this person that they hired, I think that, um, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how cancer didn't get affected. You know, I don't know. Hermit energy, strong Virgo energy there. Aquarius energy. Yeah, the hermit and the hanged man. I have no idea why my magic was stalled. Pisces energy. I have no idea why it didn't affect cancer. I have no idea why cancer is sitting there happier than, you know, ever. I, I have no idea. You know, with the high priestess, the person that they hired to do this magic may be telling them, listen, they may have strong, you know, cancer may have strong ancestors. Okay. Cancer may have strong ancestors. Look, the sun, the devil, and the lover's card, right? So I feel like this person that they hired is going to tell them, Cancer, listen, you know, they may have, uh, you know, spiritual protection that sees evil immediately. Like, you know, it, it, it catches almost like a dream catcher, right? Some of you may actually have a dream catcher in your house, but you may have like ancestors, spirit guides, God, it, it catches whatever evil before it hits you like a dream catcher, like a fishnet, right? You know, it catches it. So that's the only thing that this person that was hired has to say, you know, but regardless, give me my money. <laughs> These people dropped a, a nice sum of money they they dropped a nice sum of, sum of money convincing convincing these people that oh yeah this is going to work oh this is going to work no worries this is 100% going to work we can take cancer down no problemos right yeah no that's not a thing
And you know what? With this world card, Cancer, this world card, the tables may turn and it may come back to the people who put this on you. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I love you. That's what I got for you. And I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.